How are you boys and girls? Welcome back for another video. You may or well you probably won't notice but I'm not feeling all that great at the minute. I've just uh, I've finished at the doctor's, I've handed in my sick note at work. Just on my way home now. I thought I'd come through the countryside because I just can't be bothered with dealing with traffic. Which means that it is a slightly young, longer way around. It is a slightly longer way around but I don't have to deal with cars and traffic and having to stop and start constantly. So yeah, I've been to the doctors because we have no fucking idea what's the matter with me. Um, obviously the last two videos you'd have watched, uh, you know, I recorded them on the same day. I went for an x-ray at the hospital. Um, turns out the x-ray was fine, everything's normal. So I'm like, well, what the hell's the issue with me? Oh, the doctors, we... The speculation, it's all being investigated. Uh, that's what the doctor said anyway you know it, this that's what the sick note said so it's under investigation by the doctors they want to rule out any kind of gastro issues so he's prescribed me a week's worth of um, lanzoprazole which I've been on before I've had I've taken them before um, when I was on naproxen, which is a very strong ibuprofen. Because uh, apparently with naproxen it can give you a really bad stomach, so... Uh... Whoa, what the fuck is with these lines? Oh, that was horrible. They were like ridged. I don't know if you can see it, they're slightly ridged in the middle. Oh, that was, oh, that was really horrible, I didn't expect that. Oh, conker fell out the tree. That scared the fuck out of me, that did. I did not expect that whatsoever. Oh. All the way along this road, you can probably, I don't know if you can see it, like a little ridge right down the line, like the, where the dotted line is, and just over the other side of it, here. Like a little ridge all the way down the middle. Because I didn't notice it, fucking took my balance off. So yeah, he's given me some gastro tablet. Saying that it's, you know, acidy reflux, you know, like in indigestion type pains. If it's not, and I've still got this problem in a week's time, I don't know what we're going to do. You know, this is the second week I'm about to have off work and, oh, I just feel horrible. But because it's so painful, I can't sleep. Oh, well, I can sleep, but it's very difficult to sleep. And obviously when you're not sleeping, or at least not sleeping properly, you know, your concentration levels and all the rest of it are, like, severely low. It's like, I, I, I could find myself, like I've, I've been finding myself over the past few days, because I am so sleep deprived, I've been, you know, sat watching a programme on, you know, watching a little silly YouTube video. And I have to end up watching it, like, five or six times, because I just didn't get what they were saying because uh, I just like blacked out halfway through and missed what they were said so many times over the past few days I've just oh it's been horrible oh let's see what the uh, exhaust sounds like sounded pretty nice didn't it 
I'm going to use that in a video that I'm planning on making soon. Oh, it's been a few days since I've been on the bike. Feels good, gotta say. Does feel good. I've got a new jacket on, it's leather. And my arms are getting cold already. I've never had leather before, it's the first time. Because I've always thought, well, if, you know, leather will be too cold in the winter and too hot in the summer. Well, so far I'm being proven right. My arms, are, my arms around my elbows are starting to get cold. Now I did record some little snippets here and there a few days ago. Uh, I don't know how much of that footage I'm going to use until I've edited it and watched it all back and all the rest of it. Uh, but a quick update, I'm not doing too well at the moment. My stomach is in pieces. Um, and for some reason the doctors just can't figure out why. Because the crazy thing is, I went to the doctors, they sent me down to the hospital for an x-ray, which you'd have seen in my last couple of motor vlogs. So the actual x-ray was fine. Didn't show up anything unusual. Which is good news, you know, there's nothing wrong on the x-ray. Well, that's good news. But the bad news is, is that we have no idea what is actually wrong with me internally, which is really annoying. You know, I've had all family members say, oh, you've probably got this, or this has happened, or blah, blah, blah. I just don't know what it is. It's really annoying because this has kept me off work now for two weeks. You know, this is technically running into my third week. You know, I'm going to have a minimum of three weeks off work because of whatever the hell this problem is. Now, last time I went to the doctors, which was just like on the Monday just gone, picked up a sick note for work and that, they gave me a prescription for some blood tests, which I've got to go and pick up. I don't know, I don't know what it is. I think, I really don't know. The annoying thing is, I went to the receptionist. Oh, I need to book a, an appointment to see a nurse for some blood tests and blah, 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 blah. The nearest appointment is the 18th of fucking October. No, it wasn't. No, no, it's not even October. It's fucking November. I've got to wait over a month to have some fucking blood tests. So I'm here in pain, agonising pain. And I've got to wait over a month before I can have some tests done. That's just ridiculous. It's like, well, OK, fine. If the nurses at the surgery are too fucking busy, send me to a hospital and they can get it done. You know, I pay my national insurance every single month. I'd expect a little bit more from the NHS. Now I understand, yeah, they're going through cuts. And why did you slow down so much? You're only a little fucking micro. You could fit through a space of the size that I could probably fit through. Oh, just really, oh my God. Did you see that swerve? Did he really need to swerve that much? This guy shouldn't be on the road. This guy really shouldn't be on the road. So yeah, I've got to wait for like over a month before I can have some blood tests. Now they've given me some gastro... Oh, he, nearly, he nearly lost it then. They've given me some gastro pills, which are all well and good, but they don't work all the time. They work for the majority of the time, but not all of the time, which is really fucking annoying. Now, the thing is, I can deal with pain. Trust me, I can deal with pain. But this is a completely different type of pain than what I am used to. You know, since my accident back in 2012, I can deal with pain. I've been dealing with it every single day. I've got to deal with this pain for like over a month now. And like I said, I can deal with pain. You know, I've been dealing with it every day for the past four years since I broke my spine. So yeah, I can deal with pain. And anyone who says otherwise can go fuck themselves. Because you see this TNT lorry? It was about that kind of size lorry and that company that pulled out in front of me. Fuck TNT. Pricks. Ooh, let's do a rev bomb. Perfect. Ha! <laughs> ha!
Oh my god, that felt so good. I hope you guys could hear that. Well, I know you'll be able to hear it. I hope it's as clear as I'd... As... And you purposely... <gasps> you want to be a dick about it? Let's be a dick about it then. But yeah, in regards to my health at the minute, I've had to have the time off work because I've been in so much fucking pain. And when I say pain, it's pain. It, anyone who wants to say otherwise can go fucking just fuck off. Because I can deal with pain, but this is some pain on some level I just can't deal with. This isn't the same as muscular or bone pain that I've that I've dealt with for the past four years in my in my back this is a completely different type of pain and it really hurts and I can't deal with it I, I'll be honest I can't deal with it this pain is ridiculous I'm all right at the moment I've taken one of my um, gastro pills and I'm all right for the minute but I guarantee you by the time I get home Give it ten, uh, give it like an hour, maybe two. I'll be doubled over in pain again. It's a, it's absolutely ridiculous the amount of pain that I go through, and not no one really understands it. I mean, the doctors that they don't they don't know, and if I can't deal with this pain, then it's some serious pain. Now the controversial line I'm going to say now is. I keep hearing from women all the time. The worst pain in the world is giving birth. And it's like us blokes can never really have a comeback to that. I mean, I've heard the joke, you know, the worst pain in the world must be a kick in the balls because after a year or two, we don't go back to our mate and say, yo, Dave, kick me in the balls again, just for all, you know, for old time's sake. But women a year later go, I, I want another child. So it can't hurt that much if you want to go through it all again. But, you know, pain, birthing pain is a real pain. You know, I'm not, I'm not here to say you don't know what you're talking about because that is pain. I've seen it. You know, I saw my son being born. I saw the amount of pain my other half went through to bring him into this world. I saw the amount of pain. But honestly... I don't think it's a pain that, I think breaking your spine, like I did, is a lot fucking worse. Because don't get me wrong, having a kid, very painful. Not gonna deny that. You know, I'm not gonna deny the fact that that's pain, that's not painful, because it is painful. But I don't think it's as painful as what most women say it is. I think a lot of them exaggerate, and we've, some women it's different some women it doesn't hurt at all you know some women just cough and the baby pops out you know and there's some women that's that are like there for days in excruciating pain and, you know i respect that but i'd love to know how that woman would deal with breaking her back because she wouldn't that's a very loose chain and a very dirty bike. Where are we going? Another little thing I've got to show you guys is this, this, and that. Tank protector and tank grips. Tank protector, obvious reasons, and the grips, well, they give your arms a bit of a rest and your wrists and stuff because the more you grip the tank with your legs the less work your upper body has to do and anyone who knows me will know that I have no upper body strength whatsoever so anything that can save my arms shoulders wrists and the rest of it 
I'm all for. Anyway, that's enough about me for today. I'm back home now. So uh, if you guys wouldn't mind liking, subscribing. You know, pop a like on it. You know, a pity like for me. And I'll catch you all next time. Because the next time will hopefully be with a new exhaust. Hopefully. All depends on illness and things like that and whether I can get there and stuff but anyway be safe everyone take care bye